And here we go. We're gonna do an icky sticky five scoop ice cream cone. Not a regular ice cream cone, but an icky sticky one. Um, if you are familiar with any Shakespearean plays like Macbeth, where the witches are stirring up a brew and they have bat fur and eye of newt and frog tongue and slice of snake skin, all those icky ingredients in their brew. Uh, well, we have some other things we might put into ice, our ice cream cone as embellishments instead of uh, pistachios and almonds and uh, the sprinkly toppings that you might find at Cold Stone or somewhere like that. So let's get started. We've got the cone, the cone. We're gonna do a uh, triangle, triangle like so. We're gonna have a round rim around the triangle, like so. One, two, all right, there we go. It looks pretty good. Triangle basic shape, rim of the cone. Um, the waffle weave we'll put on later. The waffle weave's gonna kinda go like this when we add color. And then it's gonna come back this way. But we'll get to that the color when we get to the color portion. So, a scoop of ice cream is kind of formed by an upside down letter U. There's my letter U. Can you see that? I'm making it pretty dark so you can see it. But for my purposes, I don't need it quite that dark. So I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit and make it a little more chunky. So whenever you're doing these scoops of ice cream, uh, you use the letter U. And then we're gonna have ice cream kind of coming down off of it and then down the cone itself. A long drip like that. And then maybe even one down along the side. How about that? That looks pretty good. Maybe a drip fell down here. All right, I'm good with that. And then a little bit of texture, make this sort of lumpy. And then we're on to our next scoop. Our next scoop of ice cream is gonna go letter U. Let me erase this first one. Letter U, maybe off, maybe off to the side a little bit. Because it's melting and it's all like going different directions, each scoop that's stacked up. So we're gonna go letter, letter U, bring the ice cream down. This is gonna drip along the side here. This is gonna go here. You with me so far? There we go, second scoop. One, two, I'm gonna erase the top of the U shape and put another U-shape, maybe going back this way, maybe a little smaller this time. And again, stuff hanging down like maybe syrup or drippy ice cream onto this one. Oh, I like that one. Okay, clean it up. Next scoop, one, two, three, four. Let me make this a little smaller getting smaller as they go up. One, two, three, four. And maybe the fifth one is gonna be, whoop, maybe off to the side. It's gonna slide off right about there. So it's gonna go bloop, bloop. It's kind of behind that scoop. All right, now, that's basically my ice cream cone with five scoops, All right? All right, so we're going to uh, add color now on this next portion. I've taken the liberty to clean up my drawing a little bit with my eraser, so I don't have quite so many of those sketchy lines. And now I'm gonna start applying the color and the five different uh, ingredients on my icky, sticky ice cream cone. So let's make the cone itself I'm going to use an oil pastel, this sort of tannish, pale color to start with. And then I'm going to come back with a darker one right over that. There we go. Got a darker color right here. Maybe a little shadow underneath there. Maybe a little shadow underneath the ice cream's overhanging. Go. Maybe a little 
darker on this side and then gradually blend into the lighter side. So light's coming this way. There we go. Now I need a brown, but I don't have a brown. I have a black. Oh, darn it. Okay. Didn't plan ahead, did I? So I'm going to use the black. Outlining that. Making our cones stand out. There we go. It is, after all, kind of a cartoon, kind of a cone. And picture all together. There we go. There we go. A couple of those lines, a couple of those lines. Get this weave going around the cone. Back the other way. Just suggesting the shape of the cone and the pattern of the waffle weave. There we go. Looking good. Looking good, Mr. R. Okay, next scoop of ice cream. First scoop of ice cream, I should say. I think we're going to go with sort of a, a strawberry pink color. Let's see what this looks like. And we're going to color that all in. And maybe from here on forward, I might speed things up in my time lapse. Eh, no, let's let's stick with this. Okay, you can see I'm sort of varying the sort of thickness of my ice cream and putting little chunky pieces in it for realism. And this is gonna slide down the side, all the way down. And there's a drip right there and a puddle of melted ice cream down here. And there you have it. Now, what are we gonna put on this strawberry color here? I think this might be a good one for, watch closely. You guessed it, icky sticky flies. They're having a heyday on top of this strawberry ice cream. This guy here, little tiny head, little tiny wing, little tiny feet sticking out. Oh, yummy. Would you like to bite into that guy? Hmm? I guess they could be tiny little moths too, but I think the idea of flies, because flies can be so disgusting and you never know where they landed last, right? <laughs> Pile of dog poop or something. Okay, here we go. Icky sticky, looking good. There's our first, our first one. Gonna outline this in black just for give it a little more of a cartoon kind of feel. There we go. Okay, next color. What should we go with? We got this could be pink sherbet, this could be strawberry ice cream. I'm not sure. We're gonna go with a next one of maybe green for like pistachio, but first we're gonna plan to have something in there. Um Let's see, on the pistachio ice cream, got it. Here we go, this is great, got a good idea. Here comes some pistachio green color. And then within the pistachio green color, we're gonna have some icky sticky, well, I can't even describe what it is because it's so gross, but I think you'll get the idea once I start to put them on the pistachio ice cream. There we go. Colored iron in solid. I'm using a marker at this point. Here we go. Little specks of green stuff. Who knows where that came from? Crusty, hard, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're slimy. I think you've got the idea right about now, huh? I don't want to say the B word, but that's what these little nuggets are, okay? There we go. Okay, pistachio is done. Next color. We're going to go, um, whoa, black pencil, sorry. For cartoon emphasis, we're going to do this. There we go. Um, next one. So you might have to do a little preliminary drawing because uh, I think I'll save, you know, we're going to put this on top. We're going to put this guy right here, right here. We're going to have this coming out here. 
going to look a little bit like this. And you probably can guess what these are. And you find them a lot in a March, April, you know, springtime. They're coming up out of the grass. Birds love to eat them. I don't know if humans do. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty good. Clean that up. I think you can probably guess what these are going to be. I don't have a brown. I really need a brown. So I'm going to just use this for my worms. Go like that. Go like this. Go like this. I think this scoop of ice cream might be... Let's leave it vanilla, huh? Okay. And then uh, they have those kind of distinctive rings around them. You can barely see this color, but suggesting the color to create the rings around the worms. Icky sticky vanilla ice cream with worms is disgusting. There we go. Now, oh, I just realized I used green. I can't even <laughs> determine which is black and which is green. Oh my gosh. Got to have my eye surgery done, surgery done really as quickly as possible here. There, that's better. And then a hole in the ice cream there, a piece here, a piece here, going like this. Now maybe we'll go around, around, around. There we go. That looks better. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm putting these, they have those little tiny ringlet things around them, earthworms do. All right. There, that's looking good. Ring, 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 ring. There we go. Oh, yeah, slimy little earthworm. I like it. Vanilla ice cream, pistachio, strawberry. Um, chocolate. Chocolate's coming up. And on the chocolate one, I think we're going to go... You know, in Macbeth's play, they used Eye of Newt, but I think human eyes will look pretty good on this guy. So we're going to go eyeball here. Eyeball here, maybe an eyeball sticking out on this side, stuck in the ice cream, maybe one over here, behind there, and maybe one more, oh, right about here. There we go, clean this up. Here we go, eyeballs. There we go, people. A little highlight. We'll color that in in just a minute. I said this could be chocolate, right? There we go. People, highlight. There we are. There we have it. I'm trying to work as fast as I can now to complete this guy for you. Looking good. Looking good. There we go. Darken that up. That's a nice round one looking straight out at us. There he is. And now we just need to add some color to these. This one's looking off to the side. Okay, chocolate. Dark brown. Again, I don't have a dark brown. Oh, it's in my hand. Is this dark brown? Oh, no, this is dark. This is dark brown. There we go. Oh, yeah, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Now, be thinking about what this last scoop's going to be. What color ice cream, what flavor ice cream are we going to put there? There we go. Oil pastels are sometimes not the best for detail, but it's a nice, rich, chocolatey color, isn't it? Yum, with those eyeballs in there. I can hardly wait. Come around here, down the side. Icky, sticky ice cream cone. Now, <laughs> his eyes are a little bit bloodshot in some places, so we're going to do that. A little bit of highlighting here and a little bit down the side here. Got eye strain a little bit happening. Not too much, just enough to suggest her bloodshot a bit. Okay, what color are the eyes? Um, lots of different colors. Let's go with uh, blue for this one. Blue for this one. Maybe a green one. 
over here for the iris part. And I would need a hazel color, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna go with um, that and sort of like that there we go eyeballs last ice cream flavor we got vanilla chocolate pistachio strawberry hey somebody yell out a flavor of ice cream I can't think of one myself right now uh, missing uh, is there blue bubble gum bubble gum hello come on do it what's gonna be in the bubble gum I think we're gonna have bubble gum and then we're gonna put some drippy bat drool. How do you do bat drool? I'm not quite sure. I've never drawn bat drool before, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. Bat drool. Hmm, maybe kind of clearish, or maybe kind of. You know what? Vampire blood might be easier. Let's go with that. Let's go with vampire blood. Ooh yeah. Here we go. Vampire blood underneath. Underneath. The chocolate dripping down. There we go. There we go. It's like a, a vampire blood syrup. Coming down here. And going around here. Dripping down. There you go. And now just a few more details to finish this icky sticky ice cream cone off. Uh, we will go with a little more black outlining for contrast. We love that word contrast, making things stand out because you've outlined them with black or you have a dark background against a lighter object. Contrast, almost done. Boom, under the red, under the chocolate. I'm quite proud of this. It's looking really, really good. Okay, now, ba-boom, boom, eyeball this. The worm, we got everything covered. Eyeball a little darker there. Maybe darker here, so it stands out a little more. And icky, sticky, five scoop ice cream cone. I like it, I like it a lot. I can't, can I stand it up this far away? Can you still see it? No, there we are. Thanks for watching, this has been fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Damon is done.